Kyiv Telefilm Company. Without you. Episode 10. That's great. Olesa. Oh, Clara. Did you have to... You could at least kiss me back. No butterflies in my stomach. Katya. Wait, we need to talk. Katya. We have nothing to talk about. Why are you mad at me? Me? Mad? Not at all. I never get mad at men. You are all alike. Decency just an empty word to you. I thought you were a special, silly me. Is it about Nadia? I don't care about your wife. Do whatever you want. Kiss whoever you want. I don't care. I'm out of your life forever. Is it about Olesa? She is dead drunk. She doesn't know what she's doing. Go see for yourself. She is drunk and you took advantage of it. This is really stupid. So now I'm stupid too. Katya, I... Sorry, it's chief. To hell with your chief. Stop it. Get off me. It's my car. Stop it. No, sorry, it wasn't for you. A rowdy suspect. So I'm a suspected now. Stop. Listen, it's an order from above. Since the ghost is dead, we have a warrant to arrest his assistant, Clara. The fake ghost claims that she worked with her godfather. Work on this theory. It would be better if it confirms. She's already in the bulletin. If you know where she is, bring her to the precinct. Don't let her escape. We need a suspect to show to the reporters. Let go of me. You understand? I understand. Roger. Let go. You're hurting my arm. What the? My case, it's my car. Give me my case. Calm down. Did you work on your godfather's orders? Why are you asking? Did you or did you not? Even if I did, how is it your business? Your godfather was the ghost. I have orders to arrest you as his accomplice. Dmitro, are you crazy? Uncle Grigory the ghost? He had spent half his life in prison. And prison was like a hotel for him. Did you know he was able to come out when he wanted? This is crazy. You can just come out of prison. You said it yourself. Your godfather could pass through walls. I'll be damned. Clara, I have to arrest you until we clarify the situation. Believe me, better me than someone else. You are on the wanted bulletin. Hello and goodbye, my new life. Katya, I know, but this is just temporary. I promise, I know you're innocent. I'll do all I can to get you out. You won't even have to be in a cell. You'll just hang out at my office, as usual. <laughs> okay, if there is no choice. Can I go get my stuff? Yes, sure. Dmitro. Thank you for helping me. Thank you for your support. Bye. Hey! Katya, wait! Where are you going? I'm sorry, I have no choice. This is the best option. By the way, I took your car keys too, in case you decide to play chase. How did you... How did I get them? I'm a thief, a robber, remember? For me, it's peanuts. Katya, wait, don't go. You know what the consequences will be. Katya! I'm not Katya. I'm Clara. Katya died many years ago in that fire with her family. Katya, stop. If you leave, there will be no way getting back. What do you mean getting back? You shouldn't have tried to make me a good girl who has all doors open for her. We both know that miracles doesn't exist. You or Alessia can have a future, but not me. I have my own way. Maybe it doesn't lead anywhere, but I don't have a choice. There is always a choice, Katya. There is always a choice. That's what you think. Katya! Katya, stop! Katya! 
Katya, don't go, please. Shit. Shit. Stop. Katya. After your call to the governor, they put her on the bulletin. Good. That will show her what happens if you snub me. It'll be good for her to be in jail for a while, to set her priorities straight. Has she been arrested yet? Not yet. So help them. Make sure they find her quickly. Mr. Zubov, don't worry about that. Even if they don't arrest her, I have a plan B. Believe me, she would prefer jail. You've got what you deserve, fantasist. You wanted a new life? A knight in a shining armor. Here's that you get, and a lesser too. <laughs> well, do I look sexy? Cut it out. Whatever. I don't understand you and Clara. Now you arrest her, now you guys are best friends, now you're trying to arrest her again. You should sort it out, because it's me who suffers from your tiffs. I feel like a divorcing parent's kid. Enough drinking and raving. Give it back. Clara isn't jealous. Uh, yes, sure. Why did she react at my kiss this way, then? For the record, I didn't hurt my friend. It's not my fault. She gave you to me herself. What? Yes. She said married men are taboo. It's time for you to go home. This cabin is bad for your liver and brain. Where are your keys? I'm not going anywhere. I'm not asking you. I'm telling you. Don't you have anything better to do? Like telling your bosses that your suspect has escaped? Can you keep your comments to yourself? Let's go. I'm not leaving without my suitcase. So go get it. Don't boss me around. Clara. Hi, sweet Lana. Hi, how are you? Same old, same old. I heard about your daughter-in-law. My condolences. Thanks. Looks like I won't see my grandkids soon. Don't say that. They can always make a new baby. Okay, bye. I need to go. Svetlana, I was going to ask. Is Dmitro getting along with his wife? Yes. Why are you asking? My husband was at your cabin, which in next to yours. He saw Dmitro with a pretty brunette. They seemed quite friendly, you know? Clara, the shameless girl. Do you know something about it? Yes, more than I want to. Lisa, what are you doing outside? Come on, lunch is getting cold. Let's go. Where is she, Alexa? Why doesn't she come home? Lisa, don't worry. Everything will be fine. Maybe our daughter needs time to... calm down and regroup. What if she doesn't come back? I'll drag her back. Maybe I should go and talk to Olesa. I don't think it will work. If anyone can reason with her, it's Roman. Where is Roman, by the way? I don't know. I haven't seen him since morning. Ella, do you know where he is? After his fight with Alessia this morning, I suppose he went to her. How can one trust people after this? It's not nice kicking your guests out. Drinking in the morning is not nice. Get in the car. Not in the driver's seat. Hello. Hi. I'm deporting her home. Good for you. Hello, I'm actually here. 
Listen, can you take her home? I'll get the car there later. No problem, thanks. There is a problem. A big one. I'm not going with him. Why did you get drunk again? None of your business. You should go to Yorita, you know. Good luck. You'll need it. Dmitro, wait. I'm not going anywhere with this traitor. What are you looking at? Are you jealous? In your dreams. Thank you. Hello, welcome. Hi. She's here. Yes, I'll let you know when she leaves. Oh, great. Some friend you are. Now I'm a superstar. What shall I do with it? I'm sorry, I shouldn't have complicated things for you by speaking about my feelings. But Olesya, I got scared. Oh, for what? I don't want to lose you as a friend, a kindred soul. Listen, I... I was wrong. About what? About my feelings for you. Your father has been dead set upon finding you a husband lately. When I think of you spending all your time with someone else, leaving home, of course I'm selfish and overprotective. I'm just scared of losing you. So I was acting stupidly. I'm sorry. So you do love me? I do. A lot. As a friend. As a kindred spirit. Please, give us a chance. If I disgust you, I'll go, of course. From here, from the house, from your life. I just won't. Roman. My Roman. Shit. Alessia's father. Alessia's father. God damn him. Dmitro. Predator. How can you be so stubborn? Clara, don't be a fool. Come back. Don't make it harder for yourself. They'll catch you anyway, and there will be nothing I can do for you. Sure, I'll come running. It must be another trap. Goodbye. Goodbye. She's coming out. Hi, babe. Guys, I gladly stopped to chat, but I'm in a rush. Hands on me. Or what? Get in. Let's go. Hey, bro. Are we really going to kill this chick? How about having some fun first? No problem. Let's go to my sister. No one will be looking for her there. Or anywhere else. The boss said she doesn't have anyone to look for her. No problem. Okay. What? 
My darling, finally you are here. Thank God. Mom, you don't think about Daddy and I. We were losing our minds. Your grandma's blood pressure went up. Baby, you can't scare us like this. Have you forgiven your daddy? I didn't mean to hurt you. I know. I did it for you. I warned you about this, Danilo, remember? Even before I knew he was working for my competition, didn't I? But you wouldn't listen. You did. See? I thought you just didn't like him. Yes, I did not like him. Father's heart knows. Okay, I'll go to my room. My head is killing me. Have you been drinking? A little. It's okay. I'll walk you to your room. I don't like her mood. At least she's home. I think the worst is behind us. Let's hope so. Let's have a cup of tea. Shall I put it in your room? No, leave it here. I'll unpack it later. Roman, how long have you known that you were adopted? Do you remember your parents? No, I don't, but I always knew I was adopted. Olesa, no offense, but I don't want to talk about it anymore. Let's not discuss it in front of the family, okay? Especially mom, my adoptive mom. Of course, I'm sorry. I didn't think about it being a sensitive subject. Roman. I missed it. As our conversations. I missed it too. Shall we play? What? You know I can't play. I know. Well, okay. So? What are your plans? First of all, to unpack and take a shower. Why the hell did I pack all these dresses? I don't think you were thinking clearly that night. Yes, I can't hold my liquor, that's true. I actually meant your job. Are you going back to the investigations? After all this truancy? I'm sure they fired me. Maybe it's for the best. I'm tiring of these investigations. Speaking about which... Don't tell me you've changed your mind. You know I've never been a fan of your job. No, but I've been analyzing it all, and I don't like the conclusions I've made. What do you mean? There are two versions regarding Danilo's death. Oh, no. I recognize this glint in your eyes. Are you at it again? No, wait. Help me think. Version A. Danilo killed himself, but he didn't have a motive. He was an industrial spy, a cynical person. Guys like that don't take their own life. Add in the mix his wife and his son, who needed him to support them. So suicide is out of the question. If it's not suicide, then what? A murder. It doesn't matter whether the ghost did it or someone else. What does? The motive. Who would want to get rid of Danilo? And here we come to the worst part of this story. Do you want to say? I don't want to. But I can't turn off my brain either. I don't know what to do. Have you considered that we weren't Danilo's first gig? A guy like him would have a lot of enemies. Any of them could have killed him. Yes, Roman. I didn't think about that. I'm so stupid. <laughs> You're not stupid. It's just that there are always alternatives. Just like with us. Friends or... Friends. Escaped? Yes, she left. She isn't taking my calls. You see, if Clara turns herself in, it will speak in her favor. But if she keeps hiding... No, wait. Give me a sec. Weird. She never turned it off before. 
Lucia, please help me find her. I'm not going to hurt Katya, I'm her friend. Katya? So you know who she is? Yes. We were childhood friends. I don't want anything bad to happen to her, so please help me find her. Maybe she has some close friends? No, she doesn't. No family. No close friends. It was only Grigory and I. Now it's just me. There has to be someone. An ex-boyfriend. A friend from... school. My dear... I'm afraid you don't... understand what kind of life your childhood friend has led all these years. So tell me. Even a smallest lead can come in handy. That's the thing. There are no leads. Grigori started using her in his work when she was just a kid. While normal children went to gyms or musical schools, this girl was helping Grigori to rob rich people's apartments and museums. When other girls dreamed about passionate love, Clara would laugh at them because of the things she had seen at my brothel. Nothing would persuade her that love did exist. Nothing. No, don't get me wrong. She never actually worked for me. Never. Grigory would have killed me. But I couldn't blindfold her, put plugs in her ears, stop her from figuring things out, could I? So we have what we have. Clara doesn't trust anyone and doesn't get close to anyone. So... Young man, there is nothing I can do for you. She doesn't have anyone to turn to. Worst of all, it's my fault. He shouldn't have trusted me with a child. He shouldn't have. Get out. We're here. Where are we? You're going to like it. Listen, why me? Who hired you? Your friends. You're such a chatterbox. You can't do that. I'm one of you guys. You're going to like it. Let's make a deal. Sure, sure. Zoya, Zoya! I'll strangle you, do you hear me? Yes. Go. Who the hell is this? Listen, mind your business. Better make us something to eat. Come on. Madame, help me. Call the police. Yeah, sure. Turning in my own brother. Have fun, boys. I'll make you some fries. Come on, bro. My dear girl. Come on. Guys. I like ones like you. Don't. Please don't, no. Help. 
Don't. Please, no. Please. No, please. Don't do that. Please, don't. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Katya, wait. Godfather? Nadia, turn it down. The neighbors. Nadia. Nadia. Shit. You killed them. What did you want me to do? Watch them fuck you and then kill you? They were paid for it. By whom? Your friend's daddy. Lusa said you were friends with Zubov's daughter. Couldn't you find better company? Why would he want to kill me? Because you're a bad influence at his daughter. This is insane. Zubov is known to kill for less. How do you know all that? How are you even here? You were killed and cremated. Then you're dealing with a ghost. No, it can be true. The ghost is a serial killer. My godfather can be the ghost. Don't judge me. You weren't in my shoes. I had to choose between becoming the ghost or getting killed. I didn't like the second option. You have to make a choice too. Come with me and live or stay here and die. Zubov won't give up until he finishes what he has started. He has no use for witnesses. Was he the one who had my family killed? Did Lusa tell you? She can't be trusted with anything. So it's true. Oh, good. Are you coming with me or staying? Make up your mind. Well, the ratings are impressive. You're worth every cent. We're doing our best. I've mailed you the schedule for this week. There's a lot you need to do before the election silence day. At this rate, I don't think I'll need any additional campaigning. If you want to show something, better print it out. These emails of yours. Mr. Zubov. Did you forget how to knock? Get out and come in properly. <laughs> Mr. Zubov, can I come in? Young people, you have to teach them the manners. Okay, come in. Mr. Zubov, there's a big fire at your factory. They can't put it out. A fire? Why didn't you say at once? I tried. Have they called the fire brigade? Yes, of course. Cancel everything for tonight. Mr. Zubov, are you all right? You scared me so much. How do you feel? Not good. I'm exhausted. That's understandable. You've lost a lot of blood. You should have listened to the doctor and stay at the hospital. You have overworked yourself too. Mitra, I'm begging you. Don't lecture me. I feel bad enough as it is. Nobody needs me. Dmitro, I've been reading off. Stop this nonsense. It isn't nonsense. 
I lost my prima ballerina position because of this pregnancy. You know why? Because I'm old. What the hell are you talking about? You're not old, and you won't be for many years. You don't understand me. You never did. I'm a belly dancer, Dmitra. Belly dancer's time is short. And my time is up. What's next for me? Corps de ballet? Or worse still, a managerial job? I'd rather die. Nadia, don't talk like that. If it's that bad, let me get you a therapist right now. I don't need a therapist. I'm just very upset. Because nobody wants me. It's not true. I'm here, aren't I? Dimitra. Darling. Please. Don't leave me. Don't abandon me, okay? Because if you do, there will be nothing left for me. I will be a complete loser. Everyone will mock me. Especially this Petrova. I cannot have this. I can't let it happen. That's enough. Please. Calm down. I'm not leaving. Try to go to sleep. You need some rest. All right. But please, don't go. Well, how is Nadia? Not good. I believe she is depressed. We should have someone see her. Dmitra, are you trying to present her as insane? What is this nonsense? It's obvious that Nadia needs professional help. She doesn't know what she's saying. Do you know what you are doing? What do you mean? I was told you had brought your mistress to our cabin. Do you have no conscience? I can't understand what I'm missing bringing you up. Your wife has just lost your baby. Mom, I don't have a mistress. Don't think I'm a fool. Why did you bring her there then? To read books? Look at you. You're just like your father. He was a married man and still he fancied other women. Mom, Clara needed my help. She was in danger and I had to hide her somewhere. And you did. At our cabin. You're such a hypocrite. Besides, why would you want to save this criminal? Because she... Because Clara is... Is Katya Zharinova, your goddaughter. Stop this nonsense. This is bullshit. Katya died many years ago. She didn't. She wasn't in the house when the fire started. Uncle Grigory managed to take her away after her whole family had been shot in front of her. Mom. Mom. Dmitro. Katya? My goddaughter? She is alive. Yes. And she needs our help. No less than Nadia. Are you joking? 
No. Clara is actually our Katya? Yes. It can't be true. That's what I thought, too, but then I remembered. The fire department's report. They never found her body. No wonder. It was an inferno. Everything had burned to ashes. There wasn't much left of the adults either. They were buried in one coffin. Oh, God. God, how awful. Grigory the bastard. Bastard. He was at the funeral and never told us anything. He just took her. Why didn't he give her to us? Right. He ruined her life. Had her grow up in a den, made her steal. God, poor girl. And I let her down, too. What kind of godmother am I if I couldn't protect her? You didn't know. I didn't, and then? The way I attacked her, I called her a whore. But is it Katya's fault that she grew up like this? It's we the adults who are okay, to Okay, okay, what shall we do now? I have no idea. But now I know why our son is so attracted to Katya. Under other circumstances, she would be our daughter-in-law instead of Nadia, right? Right. But I feel for Nadia, too. We need to keep an eye on her. Yes, we can't let her down, but I won't let Katya down either. Where do you think she is now? On the wanted list. On the wanted list? It appears what? that Grigori was the ghost. Our son had been investigating. As for Katya, it makes sense that she knew all about his crimes. Was she his accomplice? Looks like she was. God, the poor girl. Yes. We need to get her a lawyer. The best one. I don't know how yet, but we'll drag her out of this swamp. Got it. I won't let my goddaughter go to jail. Svetlana, you still have the ability to surprise me. We need to go back to the cafe and get your car. Wait, what about them? Are you going to just leave them there? What do you want me to do? Give them a lush funeral? Godfather, there are tons of our fingerprints in there. In a couple of minutes, there won't be. How many people have you killed? Stupid question. I don't keep tabs. How long have you been doing it? Around 20 years. And let's make it clear, I'm not a serial killer, I'm a hitman. Is there a difference? Don't get fresh with me. Or what? You'll kill me? Cut the bullshit. Get in the car. Who are you working for? You won't believe it. Zubov. What was that? Clearing our fingerprints. God, I hope it will turn out all right. Maybe the explosion wasn't that big. Maybe. Poor daddy. It's his primary business. Obviously, your Alexa has a lot of fans. Gran, do you think it was arson? Factories don't just catch fire, darling. Mom, please don't start it. Not now. What did I say? Mom, Dad is here. I didn't say anything. Dad, what? Darling, how are you? You're so red in the face. Your BP must be sky high. Of course it is. Lisa, we're screwed. Was it damaged a lot? It's virtually destroyed. The explosion was big, and it happened in the middle of the factory. It spread too fast. I don't know what to do. There are casualties. I dread to think of the possible lawsuit. Dad, you think the fire was caused by human mistake? It's not clear yet. No, it's the end of everything. My business, my political career. Alexa, calm down. You always say that all that matters is that all your near and dear were alive and well. The rest will sort itself out. You're not alone. Your family is with you. Mom is right. We'll always support you, Dad. Baby, don't you understand? The factory is destroyed. Restoring it requires a huge sum. I don't have it. We can find it. Mom.
No. No, no, and no. Don't count on me. I don't like to keep all eggs in one basket. So, no offense. Family is family, and business is business. The choice is yours, of course. But before you choose, consider all pro and contra. If Zubo finds out that you're alive and can testify against him, you can start counting down to the moment they come for you. How did you become the ghost? By accident. I worked for Adamovsky then, Zubov's father-in-law. He was a dangerous man. I helped him with petty things, steal something, plan something. I never killed anyone. Until I did. The tax inspector. You're smart. It was an accident. He came home early and caught me stealing his papers. One thing led to another. It was his own fault that he fell out of the window. It wasn't even a murder. There was a note, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, I was lucky. He was a real pro, but a psycho about his love life. His fiancée threatened to break up with him, and he kept sending her those notes. One of them was sitting on his desk, so his death was ruled a suicide. Adamovsky liked it. He said it was subdued and elegant. That's how the ghost was born. Why didn't you say no? Why didn't you escape? It shows that you didn't know Adamovsky. When such a man makes you an offer, you accept. You don't escape. In my defense, I almost never killed with my own hands. Mostly it was poison, which I brought beforehand. Why do you have the gun? I said almost. Adamovsky and Zubov after him paid me well. I had to support you two. Great. Now it's my fault. No, it isn't. But if your stubborn father listened to me and got away from the cabin when I told him to, everything would be different. Everyone would have stayed alive. But no. He clung to the Adamovsky case like a bulldog. And he paid for it. Is that why you came to the cabin that day? To warn him? I overheard Zubov's bodyguards talking. If Foxy didn't throw a tantrum in the car, if we didn't come back... There's no sense to talk about it. Nothing can be changed. Mom and Foxy are dead. And we can't bring them back. I agree. You have to decide. Whether you want Zubov to get away with it, or you'll help me revenge your family. If you decide to help, you'll have to become a ghost. To die. At least officially. Because otherwise, Zubov will bury us alive. Slava, are you sure it's hers? Yes. The car flew off the precipice. The divers tried to find the body, but... The current is strong here. Nothing so far. I can't believe she did it. Yes, she did. It's far away from the road. She had a motive, too. All this manhunt would make anyone freak out. On the other hand, she might have lost control of the car. Look at this slippery grass. The ice. Experts will tell us more. 
Are you sure Katya was in it? Katya? Sleep of the tongue. Sorry, I meant Clara. I'm sure. While searching for the body, the drivers found a handbag. Her mobile phone and ID were in it. Dmitro, are you sure you're okay? You're taking it too personally. It isn't your first drowning victim, after all. And you try harder. What am I paying you for? My business is on the verge of collapsing. And you're talking about some fines. I need this money to settle it down with insurance, people, and the investigation, not to mention rebuilding the factory. I'm losing millions every day. Bribe them if you have to, but make sure the unsafe practices weren't even mentioned. This is a nightmare. Sergei, have you talked to the bank? Yes, they said no. Quoted the lack of assets. Shit. Where will I get the money to restore the factory? Did you try to talk to your mother-in-law? For her corporation, it's not such a big sum. Did I try to talk to her? You think she would agree? No. I won't give her the satisfaction. Maybe you could talk to your wife or your daughter or better still to Roman. It's not an option either. He insists on staying out of the business. Even for the sake of his sister or niece? <clears throat> Hello? Olesha. Baby. Do you want to help your daddy? Roman, may I? Sure, come in. Did you want to chat, or are you here in business? On business. Dad has just called. It's worse than he thought. He really needs help, and the banks refused him. So you want me to talk to Mom about a loan to your father's company? Yes, if you can. Roman, you know, I'm not obsessed with money. I'm just worried about Dad. Okay, I'll try. No guarantees, though. Roman, you're the best. Anyway... Give me a shout when you talk to Grandma, okay? Thanks again. What, what do you mean he wasn't there? Nadia, don't worry. He must be very busy at work. Anything is more important for him than me. His work, this Clara. I'm sure he's with her because I called his office and he isn't there. Of course, now that I've lost my baby, he isn't interested in me anymore. Why? Tell me why I should keep living. Nadia, darling, what the hell? What's going on? Hi. Hi. I decided to have lunch at home. Do we have anything? Meatballs. Great. Anatoly, I need help. I'm between the rock and the hard place. Okay. What is it this time? Please find out where Dmitro is. He won't take my calls and Nadia is beside herself. He hasn't been there since morning and it isn't like him. Really? Well, maybe he's busy at work? Maybe, but... Let him at least call me. She is worried sick. Dmitro? I knew I'd find you. Here. Why did you turn off the phone? Your mother is worried. What happened?
Katya is dead. I have been sitting here, thinking, do I want to live this life without her? <laughs> 